San Jose city leaders laying the groundwork to address public safety concerns. As KTU South Bay reporter Jesse Gary shows us now, San Jose Mayor Matt Mahan is highlighting the need for more officers on patrol in some non-conventional ways. Monday sees two of San Jose's civic leaders cycling along the Coyote Creek Trail to draw attention to a need. Got to get back to the basics, public safety, cleaning up the city, ensuring that everyone in San Jose lives indoors, basic core city services. As part of that push, Mayor Matt Mahan is laying groundwork with each cadence for his budget initiative to hire more city police officers. Officials say the current number of 1,173 is too low for a city of over a million people. In January 2022, the city partnered with Valley Water, spending $800,000 to have a handful of officers on bicycles patrol a portion of the Coyote Creek Trail. Um, you're going to going to face encounters with with uh, people that that may, you know, try to uh, intimidate maybe workers and things like that. Um, or you may have dogs out there without leashes. So, um, you know, this just provides a, a little extra layer of protection. They go out, uh, ride the trail uh, and uh, provide uh, information, make contact uh, with individuals there that uh, need our help uh, again to keep our our trails um, safe. Crime, coupled with unhoused encampments, has kept some residents from enjoying this 32-mile scenic escape. Two years ago, police investigators say Samuel Torres was killed in the area of the trail near Wool Creek Drive. Our job is to go out there and engage uh, not just our community members in our business districts or our residential areas, but as well as some of these trails. Officials say they're recruiting aggressively the next crop of cops in hopes of increasing officer ranks to 1,400. The mayor says that'll make an impact beyond public safety. We also have to be a city that is business friendly, that is safe and clean so that we can attract jobs, employers, economic activity, encourage our community to stay in San Jose and spend their their consumer dollars here. The business and taxable dollars angle is important because that's what will fund the mayor's proposal. He hopes he can balance competing needs and get his items passed for implementation in the next budget year beginning July 1st. Officials estimate this will cost roughly five million dollars. At San Jose City Hall, Jesse Gary, KTVU Fox 2 News.